This is a big topic for this semester. How do you get into a hospital for observations? Some people are already telling me that they have access to a hospital. If you already have access, you can definitely start making your connections now. Some of you are already shadowing a doctor for medical school preparation. If you already have this access, take advantage of it now. Don't wait for the project to begin to start building relationships inside the hospital. This will help you in the future when the project actually begins. Next year, you're going to need to do some paperwork to get approval to visit the hospitals and clinics. This is what this presentation is going to talk about briefly. There are four big hospitals in the Triangle area that you will be able to visit next year. In the past, most of the students have worked with Wake Med in East Raleigh. It's a private hospital that is about a 20-minute drive from this campus. We have had teams work with Duke University Medical School over the last few years. This is about a 30-minute drive from the campus. Rex is a private hospital that is not too far away off the Beltline. It is about a 10-minute drive from this campus. The requirements to get into this hospital are a little bit more strict compared to the other hospitals in the area, but you should keep this also as a potential place where you will visit in the future. UNC is another huge teaching hospital in the Triangle that is about a 40-minute drive from here. All of these are potential hospitals you can work with next year. Keep your options open because you will most likely be working with one or more of these hospitals in the future. Here are the addresses for each of the mentioned hospitals. If you find contacts in other places not listed here, that's not a problem. You are always encouraged to make connections and find opportunities wherever possible. There is some paperwork for you to complete to gain access to the hospitals. Everyone here had to submit vaccination and health records to NC State University when they first attended. You probably have not had to update those records since that first year and the university has been maintaining them at the health clinic all these years on their own. Your goal is to complete or organize all of your vaccination paperwork before the beginning of next fall's semester. It would be strongly encouraged to have this done before the end of the spring semester. The health clinic may be more responsive at this time compared to the summer, so it might be easier and faster to get it done now. Sometimes the health clinic here is busy and it takes a while for them to respond. For this reason, it is strongly encouraged that you begin to work on this now. To get this done, you need to contact the NC State Health Center Clinic and request that they send you all of your vaccination documentation. You may already have this information. Ask them to send you a PDF or hard copy of all of your health records. For each hospital you visit, you're going to have to submit photocopies of these records. In this class, it is not required for you to visit hospitals and submit this paperwork. In fact, it is against the law to require anyone to go through this process and make them visit a hospital. People may have personal objections and reasons for not participating in this part of a project, and that is their right. While shadowing is an op optional part, it is highly recommended in order to get the best experience. Don't think of this as required assignments for this class. It is strongly recommend recommended if shadowing doesn't seem interesting to you now, use the beginning of next year to give it a try and find out if it is something that you can learn from. As senior students, this is a rare behind-the-scenes opportunity to work with healthcare professionals. These healthcare professionals often enjoy giving their time to students. You should take advantage of this valuable opportunity in the future because you probably won't have this level of freedom and access once you graduate. To develop the best project, you will likely need to have this direct interaction with the healthcare professionals. A vicarious observation experience can only take you so far. At some point, you are going to encounter difficult questions that can only be answered by direct observations and interviews at hospitals. All this paperwork and vaccinations will, will be required for you in your next job anyway, so getting this done now will save you time in the future. This is a heads up about what you may have to do next year. Some of the hospitals have you do a brief multiple choice quiz to confirm you read the agreements. This is open note and straightforward. An example true false question would be like, should you ever reveal information learned in the hospital? Don't contact the hospitals yet about the quizzes done, because at this point you don't know what hospitals you're going to be working with. The hospital will check to see if you have any criminal history. In some portions of the paperwork, the hospital will ask you to enter any major law infractions that you have. 
An on-site drug test may occur, but I haven't heard of that happening for senior design students. You would definitely have to do this if you were an employee of the hospital, but as students, it is just a possibility. You always have to sign a HIPAA confidentiality agreement, which states that you will not make public anything you saw or heard during your visit to the hospital. You need to respect the privacy of the patients and the institutions. The vaccination records are what you should start working on now. Get ready to submit copies of these records to each of the hospitals that you visit. After all these steps, the hospital will give you an ID badge. Some hospitals require you to put down a $20 deposit to get a badge at the beginning. You will get your deposit back when you submit your badge back to the hospital at the end of the project. You always need to visibly wear your badge when on site. You may need a mentor in the hospital to sponsor you in getting access to the hospitals. The badges are administered by the hospitals to you once you will get all the other steps completed before this. Here are the specific requirements for getting approval to work inside a Wake Med Hospital. Here are the specific requirements for getting approval to work with Rex Hospital. If you see, every institution has some slight differences in the process, but the major steps are the same. This is a list of all the vaccinations you need to have before next year. This list applies to all of the hospitals. Check with the NC State Health Clinic to verify that you have all of these vaccinations already. Some of the hospitals will require you to do an on-site TB test at the start of next year, even if you already had done one recently. Before that, you're going to have to sign a HIPAA agreement for every hospital. Basically, this says you will keep all information learned during a hospital visit confidential. Remember, don't write patients' names down and any other financial information, for example. You shouldn't disclose this information even during casual conversations with the friends and family outside the hospital. If you are interested in doing a World Health Project, you should get a World Health Organization card. It is a vaccination passport that will make all your travel experiences a lot easier. You can get these through the NC State Health Center for about $50. I encourage everyone to get one, even if you don't have immediate plans to travel abroad. This will be useful to have anyway. Get your health records ready this semester. Get your World Health Card ready this semester also. Don't start contacting the hospitals yet. You don't know where you will end up visiting. Just work on getting your health records ready. This will prevent delays from happening at the start of next year. We don't want to waste any time waiting for people to get this approval process done. Your senior design group and class will move on without you if you show up unprepared for the hospital approval process next year. The people who are ready to go aren't going to wait around for you to catch up. You will miss important meetings and interviews if you show up next year unprepared. So take the action now so you won't be delayed next year.